Hey folks, how you doing? It's a few days after Beaver Lake. I thought I'd sit down and do a little synopsis of the tournament. Um, I finished, I ended up 89th with a weight of 9 fish. Yet again, 9 fish for 13.5 pounds or something. Um, extremely disappointed in this finish. I really thought, you know, each day of practice I was, I was getting, you know, between 9 and 10 pounds, 11 pounds in one day. Uh, bumping into a big fish here and there each day I got like a 3 or 4 pounder. And uh, in this term that's really what it took is, is getting one good fish under your belt. And unfortunately in the tournament I never had it. I think I had a couple shots at it, but um, it just, just didn't come to be. Um, day one, well let me just sum up what a few issues I think were. One, I made some bad decisions in this event, and I'll get to those. Uh, and also, I didn't execute very well. I lost fish in this event that um, that uh, that were really, really valuable. So, poor execution, bad decision making. There's my excuses. Anyway, so day one, um, first thing in the morning, I was kind of indecisive on what to do. And uh, I gambled on, I headed to a couple points, actually one point in particular where I had a few really big spots come up on, uh, on a jerkbait. It, uh, it was cloudy, overcast, rainy. I figured I'd go through that jerkbait. If I can bump into one good spot, it'd really kickstart my day. Unfortunately, it never happened. I never saw a spot. I did have a really good smallmouth come up on the jerkbait, rolled on it twice, but, but never actually hit the bait. Um, so I spent about an hour doing that and then ran to my first pocket, uh, which was a, a pocket that I fished on day, second day of practice, that I really thought I could get, you know, uh, 10 pounds out of. It was, it just seemed to have a lot of better quality fish. Unfortunately, when I got there, there was actually two boats already in it. Um, so I think that was bad decision number one. I really should have run the first thing and hit those fish. Um, that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, poor execution. Well, this is just one of those hit and miss things. I had a really nice fish, about a three pound largemouth, uh, come up on a jig as I was pulling it over a log. Again, swirled on it, missed completely. Happens sometimes. Uh, what else happened day one? Ah, oh, I had a great, a beautiful spot, about a, a 15 inch spot of bass, which is you know, a decent sized spot of bass on a, a deeper bed. I caught it on the first day of practice and the first day of the tournament I went to it. And, uh, you know, the fish was really aggressive. First couple minutes it grabbed the bait, pick it up, go off the bed with it and I'd miss it. And um, finally when I did get a hook into it, unfortunately it was snagged. Now, uh, sight fishing rules and most, most fishing rules anywhere, any snagged fish is, is illegal and has to go back. So I hooked this fish and put it back and, uh, and left. And what I really think I should have done is if I would have just, you know, waited half an hour, let this fish uh, regain its composure, I think I could have come back and caught it and, uh, and finished off my limit day one. And that would have been really valuable. That, that extra fish would have moved me up, you know, 20 spots in the standings. So day one I had four fish for six and a half pounds. I was around 120th. Um, Day two, I, uh, I went again and tried to push that morning jerkbait thing. Um, did get some fish, but they were non-keepers. And then I just, uh, I ran pockets. I was flipping all day, um, the backs of pockets. And uh, I did get my five fish. Actually, I called twice. Um, so, you know, go figure, you called twice up to a limit of uh, seven, two. Lots of small fish in Beaver Lake. But... Um, Day two, I dropped two good fish. Uh, just, you know, the fish were over wood. And, um, and I didn't get the hooks that I wanted. Playing them against the wood. Whatever happened, it happens. And so, yeah, I dropped two. And I had a line breakage, which really is very, very rare for me. And uh, uh, it's an interesting story. I had one, one little pocket where, uh, in practice, I only had one bite in it. It was about a four pounder. So of course I went back to this pocket day one. I didn't get bit. Went back to this pocket day two 
and I was going along with this jig and I came up to the spot where I caught this fish and uh, laid a pitch in on a bank. It was just pretty much a, a gravel bank with it looked like a little bit of a lip on it and um, I had a fish pick up my jig uh, probably within about 10 feet of where I had that four pounder hit two days previous or three days previous and I just I, I reached back and line broke instantly just wasn't meant to be so poor execution uh, hopefully I can uh, I can uh, get over that for the next event um, like I said 89th place Ended up two and a half pounds out of the money, and uh, surprisingly, I only actually dropped a 53rd spot in the uh, in the Angler of the Year standings, also the Classic qualification or FLW Cup qualification standings. So I'm actually uh, two spots out right now, still within striking distance. That's probably the only kind of good thing about this whole whole event. Um, I was. Uh, I was catching my fish on, um, I was actually throwing a, a little Spro jig, a K-Finesse jig, um, eighth ounce, or three eighths ounce, I think it was the three eighths ounce, beautiful nice little jig, they were eating it up good, um, actually better in practice than in the tournament. I also got several fish on that shaky head again, it's uh, it's amazing, they'll, they'll bite that one and they won't bite anything else. So that's going to come into play when I get back home to Canada. Um, or when the tournament started up here, anyways. Um, so that sums up the tournament. The, uh, the Ray Scheid won it. He did a great job. Came from behind with a 12 pound bag on the last day to win it. So congratulations to him. Our next event is Kentucky Lake. And I just found out something really interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about it and I'm not sure how it's going to play into it, but. The uh, Bassmaster Elite Series is actually on Kentucky Lake the week before we get there. In fact, our first day of practice, Saturday, June 6th, is day three of their competition. Now, Kentucky Lake's a big lake, but uh, it'll be interesting having, uh, having competitors on the water while we're practicing. It's a situation we don't get into here very much at home. Uh, also, I also found out that next week on Kentucky Lake, there's a 400-boat tournament. So Kentucky Lake and Barkley Lake, which are attached, uh, get some serious pressure, but they're still producing big fish. Um, and lots of fish from what I've been reading. Um, we'll be there, it's kind of an early summer pattern, uh, depending on the weather, maybe into a, a full summer pattern. But from the sounds of it, it's going to be ledge fishing, which uh, I'm kind of relating to deep weed line fishing up here. You know, the fish have finished spawning, they've moved out towards the ledges, they're on the bait fish. So it's going to be uh, going to be the jig, going to be the big 10-inch Berkeley power worm. It's going to be a uh, crankbait. I'm going to pick up, uh, get into that deep diving crankbait thing. Again, something that's that I don't do very often here in Canada. So uh, a lot of challenges ahead. We're, uh, I think I leave in three weeks, two and a half weeks, two weeks, something like that. Anyways, for uh, Kentucky Lake, I spoke to a couple of my uh, traveling buddies today. They're actually there right now getting a couple days of pre-pre-practice in. And uh, it was actually a little disheartening talking to them while I was not on the water. But um, they were out there, said they were getting a lot of fish. The fish were on the ledges already. Um, so uh, looking forward to getting out there and seeing what it's like. Well, that wraps up this vlog. We'll... Uh, Let's see, we're two weeks to the water. We may get another blog or two in here beforehand. And um, as usual, thanks to everyone for, um, for tuning in. And we'll uh, give you an update soon. Talk to you soon.